I was asking you earlier on, have you heard of Ghana? Yes, I heard. So what have you heard about Ghana? Um, what, I, what I know about the Ghana, I know that is the country in that are in Africa. <laughs> is <laughs> what I know only. Okay, you know yeah. Ghana is a country in Africa. Yeah. Okay, you are right. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. I'm a Ghanaian um, and I live in Ghana. Well, you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it. It was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube. Basically, my YouTube channel is to connect Africans and the motherland to Africans in the diaspora. So, thank you for checking me out. If this is your first time of watching my videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. Um, I happen to be... No, I told you that every year I would love to travel and see the motherland. You know, the motherland, I told you, has a lot of children. So 2019, I started traveling. In 2021, I came back to East Africa. This time, I'm in Rwanda. Yes, Kigali. You know, Kigali is one of the places that I've always dreamt of visiting. Why? Because I see a lot of videos talk about the cleanest city or country in Africa, if not the world. And then, Paul Kagami. He's very popular in Ghana for his development project and everything that is happening here in Rwanda. So, um, this is where I'm living. This is a beautiful place. Uh, it's $15 a day for a room. It may be more than that, but the room that we picked is $15. Now, shout out to um, Ficazo, if I'm mentioning the name right. He's the tour guide who's been taking us around. I'll make a video with him and talk about you know a lot of things with Rwanda. Now, I met this beautiful lady and I asked her stuff about Ghana. And she seemed not to know much about Ghana. Well, I don't blame her because she's not in Ghana and she has nothing to do with Ghana. So I was like, okay, let me take the opportunity to, you know, teach her one or two things about Ghana. Are you ready for that? Yes, I'm ready. You are ready? Yes, <laughs> okay, so... I want you to mention your name and where you live in Rwanda. Okay, thank you. My name is Lucy Seng. I'm living in Chigari City, the place we called Kibagabaga. Kibagabaga. Yes, of course. <laughs> That's a funny name. It's the name of an area. So say it again. Kiba. Chibagabaga. Chibagabaga. Yes. Okay. So now I'm I'm in Chibagabaga. Yeah. So maybe later on I might move to another area or city okay so i was asking you earlier on have you heard of ghana yes i heard so what have you heard about ghana um what what i know about the ghana i know that is the country in that are in africa <laughs> is what i know only <laughs> okay you know yeah. ghana is a country in africa yeah okay you are right um do you have any friend from ghana no it's you because now <laughs> it's only you because um, is the you are the one who talked to me about the Ghana. Ghana, yeah, that. Okay, beautiful. So I'm going to teach you, or I'm, we are going to learn about Ghana, a bit of Ghana. Okay, um, Ghana, yes, is one of the countries in Africa. Yeah. But when you take Africa, I think they have. Central Africa, yes. Western or West Africa, yeah. East. You are in the East part of Africa, yes. and we are in the West part of Africa. Okay. Have you heard of Nigeria? Um, Nigeria. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hear, it, but you don't know anything. I, okay. Yeah. okay, so Nigeria, Ghana, Togo, Benin, Ivory Coast. Um, what else? Let's go up the Burkina Faso, the other countries that are at the western side of Africa. Yeah. So we call ourselves West Africa. Okay, beautiful. So we are all learning from each other. I might not know, she might not know, so we are discussing. Now, in Ghana, let's talk about the names we give to Ghanaian people. Okay, okay. in Ghana, you are given a name per the day you are born. Oh. So if you are born on Monday, 
you have a name. Right. Tuesday, you have a name. Mm -hmm. So if you're born on Monday and you're a beautiful girl like you, <laughs> yes, she's beautiful. <laughs> yes, your name is Ajwa. Ajwa. Yes. If you're a female yes. born on Monday, yes. you are called Ajwa. Ajwa. Yes. Female. Female. On Monday. On Monday. Okay. Which day were you born? Uh, it's 14 September 1998. Do you know the day? Yeah. It's a Monday. It's a Monday. Yes. Okay, beautiful. So now you have a Ghanaian name. Okay. So what is your Ghanaian name? Ajwa. Ajwa. <laughs> Ajwa. <laughs> yeah, so, so Ajwa, Ajwa is for Ajwa. the female. And if it's a male, it's called, we are called Kojo. 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 Yes. Kujo. Now you come to Tuesday. If you're a girl, you are called Abena. Abena. Yeah. Abena. <laughs> Yeah. And you're a male, you are called Kwabana. That is so difficult. <laughs> it's not difficult. It's just now like, I'm Ojua from Ghana. <laughs> yes, Ajua okay. from Ghana. So it goes like that to, um, and Friday, Friday born. So if you see anybody who is born on Friday and it's a girl, she's called Ifwa. Ifwa. Yeah, Ifwa. For Friday born. Okay. Ifwa. And if it's a male, Kofi. Kofi. Yeah, Kofi is like a normal name, and it's not difficult to mention. K O F I, Kofi. Okay. Okay, that is it. What else do you think you want to know about Ghana? Ask me. Um, Ghana. Mm. What the food most to use to eat in Ghana? In Ghana. Yeah. Wow. Ghana, our food is plenty, but the common one, you know. Um, in Ghana, we have groups, and every group and the kind of food they eat. We all eat the same food, but when you go to a certain place, there's a popular food that they eat. Yeah. So when you come to my group, the Fanti people, Fanti, we are called Fantis. Mm, okay. Fantis. Yes, Fantis. We eat a lot of kinky. Kinky. Yeah, kinky. <laughs> Okay, kinky is made up of um, maize. So they grind the maize and then add water to it and then put it in a, in a leaf and then boil it. Okay. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then you... Get... <laughs> and... Not this language. <laughs> no what? It is only tied to know some of these things yeah. yeah but it's but it's good to learn because of the work that you do like i was telling you but so i wish to go there i know it <laughs> mm -hmm. you yeah. wish to go there yeah yeah one day okay so if you are watching she wishes to be in ghana very soon so if you want to sponsor her to ghana that would be cool so you need to get your passport okay yeah, and then the other common food that we all eat is fufu 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 okay <laughs> fufu is made up of plantain you know plantain right yeah and cassava oh. do you eat cassava here yes you eat yes. cassava here? yeah okay so you boil the plantain and the cassava you put it together yes okay and then you do it then that you pound is. it yeah <laughs> okay so yeah That's... so you pound it to become soft yeah and then you have your soup and then you pour it on it yeah and then you eat. Okay. do you have any food that is like that here yes we have it how do you call it um uh, I don't know in in English. In English, okay. Sometimes the they uh, they use the ugari, ugari, oh, okay, something like that. I think it's the same, right? No, it, it, ugali, ugali is like it's white. Is the color white? The food. It's not white. It uh, seems like brown. Brown ugali. Yeah, but also it's cassava. Cassava okay, yeah, that they, you pound. Yes. Okay, beautiful. And kaunga is this. Also, kaunga is the. Um, also, is the white, but it is different. It is different of the ugali because ugali, ugali it comes from the cassava. Okay. Then kaunga it comes from the. What? What is it called? Maize. 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 Yes, Corn. So, yeah. Like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, okay, yeah. okay. So, and then there is another food called jollof. Jollof. You've not heard of jollof. Yeah. Okay, jollof is cooked rice. 
but you add tomato stew sauce to it so sauce like stew so the color let me let me show you so the color is is like um it's like brown yeah so you cook the rice or you you prepare the stew you know stew right stew um tomato oh. onion okay um yes you prepare Something, the stew yes yes and then whilst it's cooking you add the rice to it and then you stir it okay, and then yeah i'll show you jollof rice okay mm -hmm. jollof yeah Oh. Okay. It's nice, huh? That's nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is this is one of the common food that we eat in Ghana. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I our currency. Our currency, you know, um the money that we spend in Ghana. Yeah. It's called Ghana CDs. Ghana CDs. Mm -hmm. CDs. Yeah, CDs. Okay. So we have the biggest one is two hundred CDs. In Ghana we love to party a lot. When I came here yesterday, we went out and I realized that you guys love to have fun. Yeah. You drink and then you eat a lot. Dance, dance. Yeah, and dance. And you have a way of <laughs> dancing. Your dancing is like, can you dance? <laughs> can you dance? <laughs> huh? uh, I try. You try. Yes. Okay. And then our official language is english okay like but if do you, you have another language yeah we have about 54 languages yeah well yeah. <laughs> yes about 54 languages do you know all these languages no i don't know all of them okay. i know of only how many two two the fanti and chi can you say chi chi no <laughs> chi <laughs> okay so we have we have the fanti but the chi is the common local language okay that's chi, chi yes chi. chi that everybody at least can understand and speak okay. aside that there are other languages that is for a certain group of people okay. mm -hmm. so we have a certain group of people called the gans the gans yeah gan and they speak Ga language. And then we have the Ashanti people. Ashanti. They speak Chi. And then my people, Fantis. We speak Fanti. So, but the similarities is just different. There's no big difference. So if a, if a Fanti want to say food in my language, I'll say easy ban. Say it's ban. Ban. Is ban? Yes, is a ban. It means it's food. Ban. Is a ban. So if I want you to bring the food, I'll say, Louisa, bring is a ban. But somebody who speaks chi will say ediani. Ediani. Yeah, ediani. Edi ediani. So you see the difference? Yeah. Just a little. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, beautiful. Every place, every group has their place, right? Their place. Yeah, every group mm -hmm. have their place to live on. To live like the, the area. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So if if this is Ghana, right? This is whole Ghana. Yeah. The Fanti people are somewhere here. The tree people are here, and then we have those at the north. We have the Dagumba people. In Ghana, we have three religions. Which one? Are you a Christian? Yes, I'm Christian. You're Christian. Yeah. So you pray to God. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have Christians in Ghana. And then the second one we have Muslims. Yeah. Do you have Muslims community yes, here? Yeah. You have it here? Yeah. Okay. The Muslims and the Christian, which of them is many? It's the Christian. The Christians, yes. they are many. Okay. And then we have the traditional religion. They worship not in the church. Yes. Not in the mosque. mosque. They have shrine. They have a small place. In the where house. They, yeah, in the house. Okay. Where they have goats. Smaller, smaller goats. Do you have that here? No, you don't have it. <clears throat> it's not allowed. Even if you do it yourself, but it's uh it's uh, it's not a national thing. Yeah. 
It's private. Yeah, it's a private. So you have people in their houses, they have shrine. They worship it. I think there is, according to the history mm -hmm. of Rwanda, all the beliefs of some people. Yeah. But there is, but it's not a lot. Also, for me, I don't know where it is or where it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. But, but in Ghana, we, we are not allowed. You're not allowed. Yeah. Okay. okay, so there are only two religions here, basically. So now that you know a little about Ghana, yeah, would you? <laughs> now I'm um, Udra. Adua. 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 Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you, so anytime I'm gonna call you from today, this is where I'm gonna be staying for like the rest of the trip. So I'm I'm gonna be calling you Adua. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now like, I'm Adua. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful so hey yeah. <laughs> if you're watching this this is a beautiful conversation that i'm having with a, a rwandese you are called rwandese if you're from yes, rwandese, rwandese yeah beautiful rwandese here in cap Chib chibaga chibaga baga, <laughs> chibaga baga. Yeah. all right so the last thing that i want to ask you uh, pay the conversations you've had with me and seeing me and my friends what do you think about Ghanaians or what will you say about Ghanaians? <laughs> so, I know this is the first time you are meeting us, yes. but so far, what can you uh, say? First time. So, first of all, when I saw them, I was thinking that you are Congo. You are come from Congo. Congo. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's, okay. I was thinking actually when I saw them, but now uh, I know them. You are from Ghana and I. I thank you. <laughs> First of all, because sometimes if you are if you saw the people different from different of have different of nationality mm -hmm. or so you are guests. First yeah. of all, you are guests. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's uh, not all the guests can make conversation with the oh, okay. Owner. Waka, that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is it. Okay. So what I see, you are humble. You are so funny. You are. I appreciate them. You and your friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she said, "Goodness, I am funny, humble, cool to hang out with me and my friends." So I think Ghanaians are not cool to like the people who flow on your YouTube or mm -hmm. other your social media to mm -hmm. encourage them to travel. Okay. Yeah. That. I think. Okay, you are encouraging people to travel. Yes. And come to Rwanda. Yeah, or and to or to show them that you have to learn a lot of things, different things. Okay. Like to know the culture mm -hmm. of other countries. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So hey, thank you very much for checking me out. I'll be bringing you more from Rwanda. I'll be here for a while. I'll be bringing you more from here. This is the first conversation that I'm having with a Rwandese and I hope to do more. So thank you very much for checking us out. If you are in Rwanda, you can definitely put up a comment. We will connect with ourselves and, you know, talk about Rwanda and do more. How do you say bye-bye in, in your language? Bye-bye. No, in your language. Mulabeho. 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 Okay, Mulabeho. Bye-bye. <laughs>